This is currently what my Instagram looks like. So as you can see, I have an all white theme going on. So I'm going to show you how I get my pictures to look the way that they do. So the main apps that I use are Facetune, VSCO Cam, and Studio. Then sometimes I'll use Snapseed and then I don't really use any of these apps. So I'll start with Facetune. So this will be the picture I'll use for an example. So as you can see, um, the lighting that I took this picture in was a little yellow, so it left kind of a yellow um, tint on the photo. I used the whitening effect um, just to make the already white or gray tones um, look actually white and gray, not, you know, yellow or anything. So I just take that and you just do this. So yeah, very quick, very simple. Um, I'll show you the difference. So yeah, pretty big difference. Um, and basically the only reason why I do this is because I take my pictures all in very different lighting. Um, so they all have a different tint to them, just depending on if I took them in natural light or artificial light. They'll either have a like warm or cool tone to them, and I just like all the whites to look similar. And then I will smooth out any like graininess in the photo if there is any. Um, and basically that's just due to bad lighting like I had here. And then I like to go in with the detail effect. And I like to detail like any words that might be in the picture. Or maybe the apple symbol. That's pretty much all I do in Facetune. I'll also use this to flip, rotate, or crop my pictures. So I already took this in a square border. So I'm just going to rotate it. And I'm also going to crop it just a little bit. So I'm going to crop it like this. Okay, so I'm going to save that to my camera roll. So I like the SEO cam because it you can pre-upload your photos in rows of three just like how it is on Instagram so you can kind of preview how it's going to look before actually uploading the picture. So there's the picture that I was working on earlier and I'm first going to go into my tools and depending on the picture I'll either take the contrast down one or up one. I'm actually going to take it down one for this picture and I actually think I'm going to take the brightness down too. Yeah. So I'm going to sharpen it around two, and um, sometimes I'll take the temperature down one, um, or I'll just leave it for this picture. It already kind of has a cool tone, so I'm just going to leave it normal. And then I'm going to go into my filters. So these are the main filters that I use. It's either S2 or S3. So S2 looks like this, and this is S3, so there's not much of a difference. but S3 has more of a saturation, as you can tell by what it's doing to my book there. So I usually go with S2, um, unless it's, there's a plant in the picture, I like to go with S3 because it increases the green. So I like to bring it down to around 7 or 8. So yeah, that's what the picture looks like on my Instagram. So as you can see, the tones kind of match. I actually might take the temperature down in this just so it matches my other ones because my other ones have a very cool tone yeah so that matches a little more so then I'm just going to go and save it so then I will save it and then I'll take it into Instagram and then I'll do like minor editing like um, just simple things like shadow and highlights um, I'll do warmth if I need it. I usually don't because I do that in VSCO cam. Brightness. And then it just very slightly alters the photo. And then I will write a caption and post it. So yeah, that is how I get my pictures to look the way they do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.